Hey, everybody. Hello. We are experiencing some troubles with the streaming, but I think we, I think I, I figured it out. Hi, is everybody, is everybody listening to, uh, does everybody hear me okay? Is that's what, that's what I want to find out. Oh yeah, Gamma Volantis is in the chat. Nice, nice, nice. Hi, everybody. Mm. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Okay, welcome to day number eight of the live stream. I'm, I feel a bit under weather. We're starting the stream very late. Um, it was difficult, the boring was difficult. Uh, grandparents arrived, took the little one away. My wife is somewhere. Um, I did not get a good night's sleep today. I've been out with my friends, as I said, I was playing board games late into the night. Came back with a bunch of beers already into, in my system. Went to bed very late. Of course, had to wake up in the morning because that's how being a parent works. You have to wake up when your child, when your child is awake, you're basically awake. The, the difference, the child goes to bed at eight and you're going to bed at two. So, <laughs> You see the discrep discrepancy there. Um, yeah, and then we had to wait for the, for the grandparents to arrive. I'm being groggy. The little one wants to play. And I'm like, oh, can we play something that doesn't involve moving my body? <laughs> yeah, that was, that. I, I know, I know. The struggle is real. Um, yeah, so I don't know how, how long I will do today. Um, I was thinking maybe just doing uh, in something in the evening, but maybe in the evening I will just fall over. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can stream now, so I definitely will, will stream now. There's some cool things that are happening. Um, the board games, when I loved it, I, I just really love the Oath game. Um, but there was one caveat this time around. It was a bit one-sided. This was the second time we played the game at all. And I had to like remember everything. And there was a lot of like, we had to teach new players, two new players. And I had to like remember all the things. So we were, uh, we spent a lot of time uh, going over the rules. And after we did, uh, one of the new players just ran away with the game. And the other new player was a bit upset about, about how things went down. Uh, he was a bit frustrated. Uh, not like, you know, table flip up, up and frustrated, but like, I don't know if I want to play this game again, frustrated. Um, I think we m might be able to convince him to play the game a third time, and I hope the third time it's going to be a bit more balanced. Squidlight. Ah, hi, all. Hi, Christian. Just, have I just joined at the end again? No, it's just the beginning. <laughs> it's the beginning. Um, right. So last time around we were working on this. Did you remember? I wanted to maybe do some tweakeroonies to that because I was, I was watching the GIF. Uh, I think it's a bit too fast. And I think it's a bit too much vertical and too little horizontal. So I wanted to maybe tweak this a little bit. So let's let's go with six. Order 66. Let's go with 0 0.8. Yeah, that's, that's a better frequency, I feel. Because it's supposed to be like a relaxing, you know, like meditative, you know, slowly breathing in and out. And I feel like she was feeling a bit out of breath um, the way she looked. And I think if it's that slow, it looks better. That looks like the air, the hair is breathing 
is breathing moving more than the shoulders. Um, yeah, I mean the hair is a bit weird, but I think um, it will look better when we get the shading. Uh, also, yeah, something I wanted to try out is um, play around with the frequency of the hair. So this is how quickly anim the hair animates. This is the... Um, Uh, amplitude, I guess. So let's 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 make it like real low frequency. We had it at 48, but what if we put it at 16? Maybe that's better. So we have we have like small waves. So we don't have like these big waves, but like this little. Although I have to say that this is very unrealistic, but <laughs> that's not how hair, how hair works, I think, isn't it? I feel it might not. Uh, something I would also want to maybe do is something like... One plus. What would happen if we do one plus? So the, the hair is more separate from shoulders, you know? I think it's definitely good to have some more movement so she doesn't look like static, right? The goal is that there's some wind or, or she moved. No, 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 she's, it's, the idea is that it is wind. But it's kind of like, you know, dream wind, <laughs> not, f not real physical wind. Yeah, I think separating the hair from the shoulders is better. Yeah, yeah, the, the breathing looks really nice now, I think. I'm looking at it in a control monitor because there I'm getting like a like a smaller picture like looking oh wait a minute something happened oh look at this something happened to her to uh, see I cannot do it like this yeah 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 yeah, yeah. see Uh, yeah, well, we could we could do one cosine and one cosine. Let's how let's see how that looks. Uh, something broke. Oh, this looks good. Weird. Why did it break when I when I had it at code? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind, no. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit tough. Oh, yeah, right, underwater. Yeah, it would look more like underwater. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I agree. Hey, Alex uh, Shendi. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's probably the vibes we're going for here, right? Like uh, something that's like underwater, and then you that that hair would look correct for underwater stuff. Uh, let's go do like a plus one here, uh, or was it minus one? Let's try it plus one. No, plus one is not good. Let's go minus one. Yeah, that's better. just generally adding more movement so she looks more alive. With digital characters, you kind of have a problem. Uh, you definitely have that in 3D when you have 3D stuff, but you also have that in 2D and that is you, um, if the uh, characters are not moving, if you just put a character.jpg, 
No, this is not uh, Tick 80, this is uh, Pico 8. The other fantasy console. <laughs> um, so when the character is um, just like not animated, just put one frame of the character and nothing is animated, then uh, something that can happen very quickly is that the character looks dead or frozen. Um, even though like if you just, you know, if you filmed a person, a real person that's just standing there and they would be moving, they wouldn't look necessarily dead, even though it's kind of like the same thing. But like if you're filming something with a camera, there's always like subtle things, subtle things that move all around the camera and, and you know, with the, with the character there's just slight breathing. There's, there's just a little bit of movement always there that gives you this idea that there is, that this, we're looking at a live footage. And um, with video games, it's easy to just do like a perfectly still image that looks frozen. And that's a huge problem to overcome with a lot of digital animation, uh, especially 3D because 3D is supposed to look, you know, like very um, uh, lifelike. Um, so one big problem uh, is always with video games, especially as well, is always to make the characters that you depict make them look as if they're alive, as they're not just like frozen in time, and that's that's tough. Um, a good example of that is when you have um, fighting games, because fighting games show really big characters and they're supposed to look, you know, animated. Uh, but then if you have the standing stance of the of the um, the fighter in a fighting game, they usually have like very, you know, like <laughs> like this, you know, <laughs> like breathing very heavily and 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 shifting from side to side, you know, just doing something that looks makes them feel very look very nervous or like out of breath or something. Um, it's very pronounced, but the idea is that again is to overcome this problem of them feeling frozen because if they felt frozen. Um, that would just literally destroy, um, especially in a fighting game where they're supposed to be animated, they're supposed to feel like real people and they're supposed to do action, you know. But you know, you have idle animations but in every kind of game and they're, again, they're, like if you did that kind of stuff in real life, you would like, what's wrong with you? Are you, are you sick? You know? <laughs> uh, uh, but it, like on an NVIDIA game world, that works better. Hey, why, why, why lie? Vaelal. 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 Hey. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm always butchering the names because they're like really tiny and a lot of letters. <laughs> I cannot read so good. Yeah, I like this better. Okay. Uh, it would be nice if the, yeah, if the two sides were animated differently, but the, the way I'm rendering it right now is I'm, it's not really allowing me for this. Because the way I do this is, I do these two lines, right? We could try. I mean, this is just, just a prototype, like we, we can just experiment here right now. We just duplicate those and we calculate a different set for the. Uh, actually, we want. Uh, like this. And this one is going to be with cosine. And then when we do the lines here, we can, we can do this. Let's try that. It's there. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Attempt to perform everything on global x12, a nil value. 
Oh, I, I brought why I want to. Yeah, I guess that's better. Yeah, it's probably we should we should try to to make that work. It looks good. Yeah, I, I mean that's worth it. It's worth it. It looks more a lot more organic. Her ears flap at the top of the motion. <laughs> yeah, they do. They, they, they get enlarged. <laughs> that's what she. That's just what she is. That's not. That's not over. Like these are kind of details, I am not that worried about. Like the general overall vibes, because like at the end of the day, it's probably all going to be like covered or by or you will get distracted by the low, um, halo anyway. And also fixing this would be, I mean, you could probably, um, you could probably get rid of this. Let's try let, let, Okay. I'm, I'm one, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to dive, dive back in. They're pulling me back in. Let's see. Removed. Are you happy now? I hope you are. <laughs> Yeah, let's 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 see how how close we can get to the flappy flappy ears. Not feeling flappy, but also maybe oh, uh, see a little bit flappy. Is there a separate animation of the girl uh, plant when the wind condition is reached? I'm imagining something like the beauty generator from the world of Goo where the eyes open. Uh, I'm not familiar with that one. Um, we burn that bridge when we get to there. Uh, I, I we could. You definitely could. Um, but yeah, when we do a kind of animation, it's scope creep. Yeah, yeah. So you wanna you wanna have the flappy ears back? <laughs> the problem is once you see them, you cannot unsee them. <laughs> I think we need to we need to we need to rein them in a little bit. Hello, Jamigans. It's uh, we're we're doing well. Oh yeah, see that's that's where we're getting zero point seven seven is the not flappy ear version. Okay, um, there is another thing I wanted to do, and I don't know if I want to do it now or if we. So there's two pathways now. We could now get this into the game as uh, as quickly as possible, just to see how it looks in the game. Um, but the other pathway is to start working on the. Uh, let me stretch a little bit. Um, to start working on the on the fills. On the fills, on the fills, fills. Yeah, let's do the fills. I think we, we should we should try to do the fills. Uh, let's save the breath. Um, so let's load Victor. Let's save this as Victor F. Victor. F. <laughs> Victor. F. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Um, okay, so this is uh, this is my um, this is the girl that we do that we have in here. We can now. I, th I don't think we need uh, to have the SSPR anymore. We can remove that. That's fine. Where is, where is the SSPR? Do tell, where is the SSPR? 
where is SSPR? Do let me know. Right, in a draw function. It should be in a draw function. There we go. Erp, 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 erp. Like this? Yeah. And then when we're drawing things to the screen, we can use the dark color, we can use the one. Okay. Okay, so here is also another problem that we have. We kind of have to, we have to kind of create a different vector. Uh, we have to edit it, we have to create a different vector system because this was now for line drawing and we kind of figured this out. But now we're not drawing lines anymore, now we're drawing shapes. Let me let me take a look at, at the at the S sprite. Did I, I? I think I have it. I did it. No. Where is the menu? I thought I, I, I. There we go. Okay, so our goal is to recreate this this look. There is another problem that you don't really see here, but actually the, her head should be kind of opaque as well. Um. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear me out. We are We are um, about to draw a shape. Um, and the way you do a shape is kind of like very similar to the way, the way you draw a vector. A vector, like the vector, like line art. Like line art you draw, like you have points and you just draw the lines between the points. That's kind of pretty simple. When you draw a shape, you take kind of like one edge, right? Like you have a line that you would just like draw a line between. But instead of drawing the line, you just draw horizontal lines like this or vertical lines like this. Um, and so the only difficulty is kind of like when, whenever you draw a line, to finding out where the line ends and where it uh, uh, begins and ends. Like you, you draw a line between the shapes, right? So for example, here, and if we want to draw the T-shirt, we would start drawing the line here and we would go all, all the way across, right? So um, let me show you just like uh, manually what we're drawing. We're drawing this first line, then we're drawing the second line. And the only difficulty like is the math involved into finding out where where the next step is. But we kind of already have that algorithm, right? We already know uh, had that algorithm because we had the algorithm for um, um, for the subpixel rendering. So we can just use that algorithm that drew a line, and that gives us at least a starting point. Now, the also always a bit difficult to to find out like a weird shape to find out the starting point and the ending, ending point, the corresponding ending point. That's that's a kind of like difficult challenge. Um, starting drawing lines from a starting point is easy, but like finding out where on the other end of the, where's the other end of the shape is kind of difficult, but we can cheat. And I intend to cheap, cheat, and cheap. <laughs> I intend to cheaply cheat here. And that is, um, this is a symmetrical, uh, symmetrical girl, right? So we can always assume the end point is just the same height and just in the middle of the shape. Uh, and if we assume that, then it's going to be very easy. But you can just start drawing here and then going to the center. Now, there is a bit of a challenge here because we have this, this here. So when we start drawing a shape here, right, we cannot go to the center technically. We would have to stop here. And then you, you have that, that problem that we were talking about rears this ugly head again. But you can, again, we can cheat. We can first draw the the, um, the the shirt and make it so it's not a v-neck basic so it's a straight neck and then we're gonna draw the skin on top and that's give us like this negative space there 
Uh, not sprite partition. I wouldn't. I don't know if it's sprite partitioning. It, it's vector art, but we're trying to uh, create an algorithm that's easy to program because there is algorithms you can find and look them up in Lex Lawfield where you can just drop in a uh, uh, number of points and it will just draw the shape. Um, but it's kind of nice to program this yourself to have like the full control over it. And I kind of like also the idea that. Um, the algorithm for the starting point of the shape is something that we actually programmed ourselves and we have control over. Because if you start combining algorithms that use maybe slightly different math, then we, we might get like loose pixels in between. And I won't definitely want to avoid that. Yeah. Okay. So I want to create an algorithm where I can just create a shape and it will it will it will draw the shape. And then when we, once we have that algorithm, we're gonna think about how to use that algorithm to draw uh, this gray area here. Uh, I want to draw out the, the 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 face basically, like the neck here and um, and the head because that's something that will cover the the back of the halo. And I want to have a th uh, so one, two, and then I, a third one will be the hair in the background. And then maybe a fourth one for this shadowy area. There's gonna be, we're gonna have, have to figure out the different layers. It's not gonna be, it's, it's not gonna be necessarily a trivial thing to do. But yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, I want to include the, the Victor. Actually, and I'm not going to include even the Victor. I'm going to include, whoop, 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 not, not, not here. Um, I want to do folder. We have girl line art. I'm going to actually use this to import. Um, Girl, I'm gonna call it girl data. It's getting so dark outside. Also, it's quite cold and I don't know how to dress. Like, I feel a bit hot in this, so I might actually take it off because I actually turned turn on the heating. It's kind of like this always, like if I turn this, take this off, it feels cold, but I put it on, it's a bit, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit too hot, too hot. So I don't know. Okay, so we definitely want to be exporting things. So we're going to make sure that we change, uh, adjust the num number, uh, the number, the name of our file that we're exporting to. I don't want to accidentally overwrite things. Victor F. We're going to call this Victor F TXT. We're going to import Victor F. We're going to import the girl line art. We're going to also import uh, Victor F. We're going to. Oh, there's no, no. We're gonna copy Victor and we're gonna make a duplicate of it so the file exists so it doesn't flip out. So like, I don't know what you're talking about! I don't even know! Gotcha, fam. I gotcha. I'm just gonna. something like this. We're gonna call this VF string. It's gonna be a bit diff diff different, I have to say. Um, because these strings work are generally a bit different. We have to we have to we have to think about this a little bit. Um, we're gonna go with VF data equals split to DVF string. That's good. Now let, let me let me get this out. This is this is not something we're gonna. Everything this uh, yeah. I'm just like I don't want to start messing around with the data if if I haven't decided what the data is gonna be like. 
Okay. Also not interested in this. Just not doing this right now. Just 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 chill out. I, I'll I'll figure this out in a second. Um gonna do a VF data here. Uh, also not really interested in selecting things, so I'm gonna delete the stuff that is um, about the cell mode. Not that interested in the, in the cell mode. Oh no, so we definitely want to keep the cell mode wrong, not, but not the cell mode. Um, okay, um, and we're gonna we're gonna do a V draw, but we called the line art V uh, girl data. Okay, let's, let's see how that works. Okay, so we joined the girl, but we are not able to editing edit anything. Andy Dev, hey, how are you doing? Um, hey, this looks like magic. Can you import bigger pictures and split them into sprites? Um, you mean bigger than the sprite sheet? The sprite sheet is the, the way it is. This is not sprite, this is vector art. I created a little vector tool. Um, you can drag and drop uh, PNGs in here, um, but you cannot cr have a sprite sheet that's bigger than 128 times 128. But you can develop your own tools to deal with bigger images, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm doing, uh, yeah, this is a vector vector tool that I'm, I'm writing to. So this girl here that we created, this sprite data, we can just draw it with vectors. But you have to do, yeah, you have to code everything from scratch. Uh, although I have to say, like, I wanted to, because if anybody's watching, I just want to make sure that you guys know. Um, there is already uh, quite a number of tools on Nexalophil that allow you to do vector stuff. I'm just doing it myself because I, like, I want the experience and I want to have the control, but I already used this stuff in the past. It's, it's not um, vector. If you look at vector on Lexilofl, uh, I know that the curse of uh, greed definitely uses that. They have a really cool like um, coin animation. Can we show that? Yeah, do you see the coins in the background? I think that's a vector animation. Um, uh, let, me, let me just Google this. Pico 8, there is a vector tool. I used it myself in, um, in Sanki. Um, vector tool. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's pretty elaborate. So it's like, a, oh no, it doesn't work anymore. No, bitrot. Oh no. Really? It's not, we have to maybe ask the developer to bring it back. Yeah, so it was like this browser based tool where you could like do vector legs, it was basically Illustrator uh, or like a very simple version of Illustrator. You don't get ahead of yourself. And then it exported a string, and then you can import it like like something like this. And then you could import it in your um... oh there's there's a, there's there's alternatives. Okay, that's good. And then you can uh, yeah yeah there we go yeah see. You it's it's kind of like this kind of tool and it's obviously not rendered in Pico 8 It's kind of like a zoomed in version of that and it's anti-alias and everything But yeah, you can create your vectors vectors vectors. You can have layers and everything uh, Yeah, see you can uh, How do you I, I don't even there there we go There's some key stuff. Can we add some new what how do you? Shift click alt click, okay? So you can add new vertices and you can change the color, you know, or even even add some shading and everything. So you could, yeah, this is a very uh, cool tool. And then when you're ready, you go export 
and I think it copies it into, into uh, your cop, um, clipboard. And then you copy and paste it into your tool. And then you get that image just, you know, with, uh, circumventing the whole spreadsheet. It's, um, it doesn't do, well, it's, it loops, through, I think this one loops through it in individual lines. So it's like finds the shapes and then goes from the top of the shape and just draws lines. And it, that's how it fills in the entire shape. Uh, yeah, that's good. It's good stuff. Oh yeah, and this is the code that you need to paste in to display it. It's it's not it's quite substantial amount of code as you can see. So I'm I'm hoping to simplify it a little bit. Okay, guys, I need to I need to take this 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 the fuzzy thing off. Ah, oh, now it's the cold. <laughs> now it's the cold. I never coded or made a game myself. I just enjoy watching people make great little Pico 8 games. That's fine. Hey, Mats the Cat. That's fine. It's, it's, it, is, it is a cozy community, I have to say. Uh, that's, um, that's something that really keeps me working in, in here. Like, yeah, the tool is great, obviously, and it's, it's really fun. But it's a like, very positive community in overall. Um, people are really uh, supportive and really laid back. And that's, that means a lot. That's quite, that's sometimes you realize later on that sometimes that's actually more important than the actual capabilities of the tool that you work with. Uh, after all, since Flash is gone, Pico 8 has become my main go-to option whenever I want to play a short fun web game. Yeah, th same for the um, development side of it. Like Flash was great. Uh, not just because you could, um, there was lots of games available for it to play for free, but also because it had like a very vibrant and like very creativity focused community, the development community. There was a lot of websites where you could visit, where you could get a lot of resources about developing stuff in Flash and lots of sample um, sample um, tools and a lot of people who worked on Flash were not actually programmers, but um, but they were um, graphic artists. Too expensive? You mean like the actual tool to to create Flash? I mean, yeah, it was part. It became part of the Adobe suite, and so it was subject to any kind of Adobe problems whatsoever but I think later on there was also yeah because at the end I was not even uh, using flash anymore I just used like open source tools uh, to code action script directly so you I wouldn't even use flash on the other hand the, act the actual flash tool was really nice to um, to um, like it was, it was very, it was e very easy to make vector animations, and that made it also very interesting. I want to get into game design one day, and I'm just fascinated by the idea of limitations rather than expensive works. Expensive works. Uh, then, yeah, don't get overwhelmed by ideas and actually find something. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very important. That's actually uh, because I'm teaching like quite often students, and that's. I know from this outsider perspective, and you know, I'm subject to the same problems, is that you usually, you plan too much. It's easy in game development to plan too much. It's feature creep, right? Or the scope creep. So, overcoming that and understanding that this is a problem and being aware of how dangerous it is and finding like tools or methods of how you can keep it low or giving yourself permission to make small things is a very, very important uh, tool or very important, important skill when developing games. Let us return to this thing. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, the game I'm making is, um, oh yeah, we don't see it. <laughs> let me let me keep continue working on this. It's, I'm doing a kind of solitaire kind of game. And this is kind of like just like some aesthetics in the background. 
but I want to, I want them to be awesome, so <laughs> I'm putting in the extra work. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking because there is, um, we are going to make multiple shapes. Each shape will have a different color. So I wonder what a, what a good data structure for this is. Also, the way I have the, uh, I have this, uh, the, how we call it, the vectors. I am actually, well, actually, let me think about this. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so VF data is, is the data that we're using. Okay, we're gonna keep everything around. Uh, VF data, VF data, VF data, VF data, VF data. Everything is VF data. Not V data, but VF data. Um, then we're gonna delete VF data, VF data, VF data. It's a shape solitaire, basically. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we're actually going to use a very similar data structure. I want to avoid having to load multiple files for each individual shape. I want to kind of like maybe save even the the color data inside the actual um, inside the actual. Let me run this. Okay. I want to maybe even save the actual color data inside the array. And so what I'm thinking here is, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a bit overkill, but uh, maybe that's that's a good idea. Is that I uh, actually save the color in here as well. Something like this, okay. I found like 40 D makes of games on Pico 8. Uh, Zelda Mario, PVZ, Fez, and other stuff. Pretty sure it's even on one of the first featured pages. Uh, pages? Is there a PVZ D make? A Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, um, there is a. I, I saw one, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is one. Okay, um, we're gonna call this new function VF draw. Oops, VF draw. And we're gonna draw VF data. By the way, the export, we also wanna export VF data. And we're gonna export VF string. All right, so where is, where, where is VF's draw? Where is VF's draw? Show me the VF's draw. <laughs> I've been playing way too much buns, Bunny Survivor. It's damn, damn hard to beat the final boss with a, uh, on that one. Yeah, sure. Sure, Andy Dev, sure. You can keep asking, no, no problem. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so here's V draw. I'm gonna change it to VF draw. Right. 
right. Um, we are just gonna, there's no sub mode anymore technically, we're just gonna use always sub. So we don't need this, we don't need this either. Um, uh -huh, that's good. Um, this is also not interesting, but we're actually gonna get the color from the um, from the array now. So we're gonna get the color from the array. When do, where do I ever, ever add a new entry here? Right, add VF data mouse mouse mouse. Just we're gonna just add random color. <laughs> it's gonna be. I'm sure that's not gonna be any problem at all. I bet at least uh, I bet at least fifty percent people of who say they know of Pico Eight got it from Celeste. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the breakout hits, and for good reasons. I mean, that's that's an, one hell of a game. Um, so we actually want to first do the VF, uh, first draw the girl, and then we're gonna draw the VF data. Okay, uh, I just wanna I just wanna see something. So let us just draw something on the screen and just see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Woo! If I run it again, it's still there. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um. The, I made a mistake, uh, and I'm gonna rectify that mistake. Um, cur call, I'm gonna say call, say cur call. Uh, I'm gonna set it to eight at the beginning. And we're gonna add a new color So we, like like if we continue drawing the shape, we we keep the same the same color, and we only switch to a new color when we change things to the start mode. And then here oh, we're gonna set the cur call to VF data uh, hashtag VF data VF data um, oh not not the square brackets and five. Celeste was a Pico 8 game. I feel like the most ignored, ignored person. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. So yeah, Celeste started out as a Pico 8 game. You can find Celeste, the original Celeste, on, on the Lexilofa forums and in the, the Splore. There's actually a lot of remixes of Celeste. It's actually difficult to find the original Celeste. It's kind of difficult. It's by the, yeah, it's by the game uh, by Maddie and the, the, game, the guy who made, I don't know, is it the guy? I don't know, the, the, the person who made Towerfall. And they, yeah, it, I think it's this guy. And they made, um, yeah, they made uh, Celeste on a Pico H, just like a little, as a little exercise. And then because it was such a huge success and because, uh, oh, it's a lady, okay. Um, and because it was such a huge success, they then later on made, um, or with it like a team, they made then the or Celeste on the consoles. The, the, they kind of like turned the 
my screen just turned a bit darker. They turned the um, small Pico 8 game into a big console game, uh, like remade everything in a different engine. Um, but something that you can find if you're playing Celeste uh, is actually like in the hotel level. Uh, you can find like crawl down some kind of duct and everything. There's like a Easter egg and then there's a computer and then you can interact with that computer and uh, it actually launches Pico 8 in, in the console version of the game. <laughs> and then you're playing the original Celeste inside, uh, inside the remake, basically. It's really fun. And that's through that Easter egg, I think most people are familiar with Pico 8. Um, yeah, and there's, yeah, that's important. There's also Celeste 2, a sequel to Celeste, made after the console game. That is uh, so far um, Pico 8 only. And actually, uh, Maddie has been posting some, I think Maddie was, has been posting some um, development uh, screenshots of the next game that they're working on. And it's, it's, it's more um, retro now. It's also platformer and it, the mechanics they, that in that game are very similar to Celeste 2. It's not a Celeste game, the, like the, the vibes are very different, the different character, but the new uh, platformer they're working on uh, looks like, uh, has similar features, uh, similar game mechanics like Celeste 2. Because Celeste 2 has very different mechanics. So the original Celeste had like the double jump uh, or like, like, like the zoom uh, mechanic. Uh, and Celeste 2 has like uh, like a grappling hook, but it's only horizontal back grappling hook, and that's kind of like you have to really think with portals to, <laughs> to use it properly. It's really, really really cool and crazy. And the new game Maddie's working on is also uh, it's also using a, a horizontal grappling hook. Yeah, and Towerfall is amazing. Powerful was amazing. Agreed. What the? Yeah, that's the. That's the. Okay, so this is good. Now I right click. Oh, interesting. Okay, if I right click, I want to update the. Um, oh, let's delete this. See, drawing different colors, and if I undo, and then undo, okay, I'm, I'm returning to the old color. That's what I wanted. The strange thing is that the Tower Fall, Celeste, and Celeste Classic are pretty different games, while still working on the same basis. Jump Dash Tower Fall gets a bow, a bow, Celeste gets climb and advanced movement, Celeste Classic it just has simple mechanics. Yeah, I mean, Celeste, the console game is definitely inspired by the Pico 8 Celeste, but it's also like, it's, it's, it's not like they just like, you know, pressed convert to console game <laughs> and then just like spit it out. It wasn't, it was, it is its own thing, obviously. Okay. Right, so um, we are creating the vectors as we wanted, but now we're not, we're still not drawing those vectors properly. Um, those uh, polygons. Because right now we're just drawing a line, but that's not what we want to do. We don't want to draw a line. We want to draw a shape. Do, 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 do. Uh, the small dot is just the origin of the shape of the like the like basically zero the position zero. It's just for me to 
like a visual aid to see where the center is. It's fine. Don't worry, it will be gone later. Is the shape good? Maybe V fill? Let's call it V fill. Okay, so here's line two. Uh, let's call. Let's bring up a new one. Function v fill. There's a line we have to draw. Oops. Yeah, sure. Um, Right, we're just gonna copy this this code that draws the line. And the difference is gonna be here. When we do the P set, instead of the doing the P set, we're gonna do line. Uh, and then zero dot y1. Okay, not quite what I wanted. Uh, I guess I have to specify an origin. Org. Filling things up. up. That's, that's the idea here. You see? And then we can like fill the face. And so forth, right? That's the ticket laddie. And then I obviously we're gonna we can duplicate this uh, and do like a uh, actually. Oops. You just have used the points from the lines already drew. Uh, I'm intending to do that, but uh, I just wanted to because I still have to do edit them later on. So I want to just like first add some um, yeah, I, I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing the mirror. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. That's what I'm doing right now. Oops. Why you, why you no work? It just disappears off screen. Oh yeah, there's too much 64s. Here and then drawing the face. Something like this. But also I don't like how change the V fill not repeat it. Yeah, I was thinking about this. The only problem is uh, when I do the origin thing is 
Uh, yeah, might be a good idea. Um, I was I was worried that because I have the hair, and the hair is not symmetrical, um, so doing two V fills might be a good better idea than than. Um, to the center so I can like animate the edges uh, but yeah since we have the origin now anyway it's we can just do it with one statement you're right that will save us some some time like this yeah see oh what that did not work oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It needs to be pair row. Yeah, see, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Yeah, I, I have to do a, a separate statements. Nope, no purse. That's better. Um, I, I messed up and of course you have to f draw the girl a second. Ah, hey, hey, hey. this is good, this is good. <laughs> uh, Lazy Dev Scout doesn't come from anywhere. <laughs> you know, you know, you know how that works, Andy. You you know how that works. You know how game development is like. It's all lazy. It's all lazy all the way down. <laughs> Because now I want to kind of like reuse the vector, the stuff that I already have. I don't. I, whoa, 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 whoa! Where does that, that, that music come from? Come on, let's do some Zelda and chill. I thought I had it on loop, but apparently I did not. Right. Um, let me let me do some manipulation of 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 the. Of the data underneath, yeah, yeah, Lebowski. This is the data. The data is 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 unmistakable. We are the nihilists, and we don't believe in the data. We manipulate the data. The data. Um. Can we have a split screen? Thank you. We manipulate the data, Lebowski. Yeah, we manipulate the data. You think you are a tough guy, Lebowski? You know nothing. You know nothing, Lebowski. The best designers are lazy, yeah. I work once with someone that isn't. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and I had to ask why certain things take so long. And when they showed me, I was totally buffered. How much hand work they did instead of raising concerns. We changed the pipeline in four hours to cut down from repetitive work from three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a huge problem. Like especially with lots, lots of. Um, it's interesting to see how different people from different backgrounds suffer from different problems when doing um, game development. And it's interesting to see how people who come from like a um, 
like a technical background or like a game, like a programming background, computer science background. Uh, a common problem from computer science people is to over-engineer things. Uh, and to just like, you know, just create gigantic systems and make everything perfect and, and just like there's just no time for this stuff. Um, and they often don't, f don't feel comfortable um, cutting corners. Uh, but you sometimes have to cut corners. Okay, so it seems like this is... This is the hair, right? I wonder if you can if you can just keep this like the it should be able we should be able to keep this around right it, it should be it should, it should be no problem but I do have to uh, add a color okay let's try that let's try that Lebowski oh no oh. Interesting. It doesn't let me. It doesn't trim out the. Oh well. You know. uh, that's why we use the uh, the macro set recording. Uh, macro recording. It's like Control Shift P, right? Control Shift P. Uh oh. I thought I could do it, do it cool with a macro, but uh, whatever. I hope I didn't break it. Uh, classes don't work in PQ8, right? Only tables? No templates, no classes. Uh, you... Yeah, it's... You kind of can make classes. Uh, there is ways of doing, uh, of making Lua behave in a way that has a behavior that is similar to classes, um, but it's it doesn't feel right. It, 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 you're fighting the language, I feel, um, especially in Pico 8, because it costs a ton of tokens, and you're. It's just like it just it doesn't feel right. It feels right in other languages, like it feels right in you know C or something. Or uh, Java, um, but it doesn't feel right in, in Lua. It's just like, what are we doing here, even? Ah, yeah. But you see, there is a problem. There is a problem. You see the problem, right? The problem is that we have some pixels that go over. Um, one solution to this problem is just to subtract one. Also, I think we're going to uh, let me let me look at the. So this is the we should should end at the around the ear. That's where we should end. Also, what is the Yeah, I, I. You are abs absolutely right. I probably should use line uh, P set. But it's kind of weird that P set uses the same. Why would it? Uh, is P set not? Is P set not centered? Uh, not not integer based? I thought it was it would also integer things. There is a way of, around this. I, I don't, let me try this real quick. Yeah, uh, but the subpixel was about you know finding uh, a, a pixel between two points. That we instead of using the line statement would find the pixels in between two points differently than our algorithm. But we're using the same algorithm to find the so. I don't quite understand why we have these. 
I mean, I can do the piece set, but you will see that it's, it will look the same. Or, or maybe not. Well, I, I, let's try that. Where is it? Where is it? Wait. I think we're we're not in sub mode. Ah. Ah. Oh, mistake Rooney Schmooney, but we got it. What's good, everybody? <laughs> yeah, Pico has a slightly different Lua that's not quite as like the real Lua. There's slightly slight differences. Um, but it's more simpler and more elegant, I think. No, I don't know if elegant, but it's simpler. Um, the real Lua feels a bit more like you always have to carry some additional weight with you. And Pico 8 is just like very straightforward. Pico, 8, um, Pico 8's Lua is more similar to something like BASIC, I think, where it's just like very straight BASIC programming. Um, there is one really strong and powerful ability in Lua, which is also there in Pico 8, um, which is the... Um, what's, what's, what is it called? Um, the standard behaviors. What, what is it? I think it's called standard. No, it's not standard behaviors, but Lua features. What's what's the? There's some concepts in Lua that that is really crazy. Where everything is. Uh, meta tables. This stuff. Meta tables. A meta table section of the database or data holding structure that is designed to hold the data that will act as source code or metadata. Uh, yeah. So the idea is that you can make objects, you can program different behaviors of objects or tables by changing like the core behavior of an object. Um, yeah, and so people do crazy stuff in Lua with metadata meta data manipulation and some of the stuff I tried to do like a video on it. There is, I think, I found, I think in one case I found a cool application for it. I have to come back to it. I, have, I had some notes on that. But yeah, metadata is really strong in Lua. That's a really powerful concept. Uh, tables starting at one seems crazy as when you start, uh, start out and it definitely felt awkward to me that the tables are starting at, at one. But now it's second nature. And I've, now I going back to zero tables is a bit weird. There's advantages to zero tables because when you are multiplying, like when you draw objects on a screen and they're supposed to be like in, for example, you have a for loop and you want to draw objects that are evenly spaced. Starting at zero is good because then the first object starts at the origin. And with when it starts at one, you always have to do minus one multiplied by, you know? Um, so that's kind of like a small price that you have to pay. Um, but, um, for example, length calculation is really cool. So when you want to see how many objects do I have in my array, that's the same thing as the number of the final object. That's really cool. That's, that's actually something that you more often use. So there's, you know, there's some advantages and disadvantages. I, in the beginning, I thought like this was, this was, because that's how a lot of people think. This, you know, this is a, um, this is criminal, you know, <laughs> this is a sin against nature. That's, that's how it's supposed to work. But, um, but actually now in hindsight, it's like, eh, whatever. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to kind of, See, I want to, I want to stop at the ears. So 
something like this. Okay. Uh, what direction does the fill come from? Well, I can decide, but uh, from from the bottom up right now because I draw drew this outline from the bottom up. Uh, we have to really think about the order of things. Definitely the hair in the background. I have to like diagram this out, man. This is this is fun. This is a fun, fun little puzzle to work on. How, it's it's crazy how much effort we're investing into this, but it's, it's again it's 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 kind of part of the fun. Okay, so so first we draw the hair like this, right? Then at some point we definitely want to draw the shirt, which goes like this. I don't know exactly when. Um, then let me look at the screenshots real quick to see which part of the... Uh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, it's here, right? No, that's not the one. Yeah, okay. When the curvature of the head begins, um, that's that's where kind of because I don't want yeah it's it's a difficult it's kind of difficult to draw the girl between the front and the back, or is it? No, actually quite fine. I just draw the the top and draw the girl. No, I draw the back, draw the girl, and draw the the top. It should it should be fine. Okay, so. Um, we definitely want to draw like, oops, uh, we definitely want to draw at some point, uh, 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 oh, I don't, what is this with the paint? Come on, give me a break. We definitely want to draw at some point something like this, a shape like this, right? That is going to be kind of like the face. Uh, and... And maybe also even the, no, no, not the neck. Because then uh, I'm, uh, now and I'm thinking about the shadow of the neck because the, that's something that's going to be looking like this. And then there's going to be even another shadow of the neck even further down. Yeah, there's going to be two shadows at the neck. Then we put the face on top. Then we put this on top, and then there's going to another one, skin tone that is on top of that. That's going to be the plan. Face and neck can be one pass. Shadow another pass. Uh, can they? Oh, we don't need, we can get, yeah, yeah because it's, we're filling, see, uh, we can actually get rid of the, of the, of this shadow, because we, that's basically, or we already have that, because we already have the uh, hair shadow, so, so we don't need this part, we just need the really dark shadow. Could you add a property to each vector which defines the color and fill it? Fill P for a horizontal line drawn to its mirror point on the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. The problem is I'm like the vectors right now are not drawing between two points. The vectors are drawing between one point and the center line. So I cannot define two points and then leave something out in the middle. So that's why I have to layer the, those shapes uh, on top of each other. Oh, 
But yeah, I think that's it. So we're drawing the, sh the No, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's fine. So I'm drawing the, this is gonna be the, this part is gonna be the, um, the fill P, the pattern, the pattern fill for the hair. Then this is the very, very dark shadow here underneath the chin. Um, then we're gonna draw the entire face in one, one go to, that that will cut into this very dark shadow and cover the, the hair. Um, then I'm gonna draw the shirt and then I'm gonna, this is gonna be the neck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I might not, because this area has to be drawn. Uh, actually, it don't, won't work. Yeah, yeah, see, see. Um, so we have to rearrange things a little bit. Um, we have to draw this shirt first. So first the shirt. Then we're gonna draw the entire neck area. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna draw the very dark shadow. And then we're gonna draw this. See, I'm, I'm trying to figure out because the order of operations is really important here to get the desired effect. And the neck will look different. It's not quite how the neck will look. The neck will look like... Anybody in chat knowing what the reason to do for... And this is... I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, there's two reasons. Um, one is I you kind of save sprite space this way. You don't have to have a huge sprite of the girl in the sprite sheet and you can use the sprite sheet for other things. To be fair, in our program we're not doing the sprite sheet. Uh, not doing much with the sprite sheet. So we could get away with just putting this, the girl in the sprite sheet. And my, I, I, that was my backup plan if all of this failed and took too long that I would just do that. The other reason is that uh, having the girl as a vector data allows us to animate her. Uh, in a nice and smooth way. And um, that's not really that easy to do when she is uh, a sprite. Um, another possibility to do, of doing this is kind of like disassembling her into smaller sprites and reassembling them as sprites. That's, that's also possible, it's kind of like just a different challenge. And also I wanted to have more experience with, with vector data. Yeah, yeah, we could, could disassemble her into, into bits as well. So the neck will look differently. The neck will now... Oh. Oh no. Oh man, guys, this is, this is, this is, this will require... So the neck will look like this. And then we need to do the shadow underneath the head twice. So let's use let's use dark purple for the shaded. So this something like this. Yeah. Yeah, so this is this is gonna be this is gonna be our our plan, plan runish moony. Oops, nope. Um, let's just keep this around. I'm gonna save this actually on my desktop. <laughs> Okay, so now that we figured this out, I'm gonna also keep the girl around here so I have a reference. Uh, but this will also require more manipulation of the... of the girl. So... Yeah, okay. So I think this is the, do, do we see this? Do I have the right window? Yeah, yeah. So this is, I think, the, the, the pullover. Uh, 
Oh oh. Um, be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, I have some. Oops. Oh, yeah, we're mute. Okay. Um, so I have some bad news. We uh, the grandparents came back with a with a girl with a with a daughter, and my wife wife is also back. So. We're probably gonna head out soon and get something to, to eat. Uh, so I want to eat, end the stream now. I might be back in the evening so we can finish this up because I really want to finish the, the um, Sprite stuff today. So um, this is gonna be the end of the stream for now, but join me later uh, in this evening to finish the girl Sprite animations. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. It was a great pleasure. It was a really active talking here. It was really fun. That was really happy. It felt like, you know, working in a team. That was really cool. I'm off. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Yes. Welcome back. I'm back. <laughs> Vela, hey, welcome back. Um, yeah, I, it is evening. I am... Um, my tiredness is in advanced state right now. But I can't stop. I can't stop. I need to figure out this um, this vector stuff. Okay, um, okay, I have my diagram. My cheat sheet, I also should maybe open as bright to kind of see what this is supposed to be looking like. <clears throat> okay. 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 Good. Ooh. I like that. Hmm. That Final Fantasy. Okay. Um. So let's just start layering on the stuff. Now the problem is that we have is, uh, which is slightly the case, is that we. And I wonder if it makes sense to invest some time into this because it's kind of difficult to... I'm doing some manipulation, some copy and paste from um, the girl line art um, for the actual tech, um, text file. And that text manipulation, manipulation might be easier if we... If, if our code is written in a way that it handles line breaks um, so I'm thinking of adding a, a little thing Rooney to remove line breaks. Let's see if, if maybe there's a, some, some code that we can find. Uh, Pico 8 replace string. Can we find something like this? Uh, because you have to do like a search. Let's see. Let's see. No. 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 Hmm. Yeah. We would have to program one. 
How did they get caught? Let's just write a function like this. It's, it's, how hard? How hard can it be? Um, so, what we're looking for right now is a function that basi basically takes a string and removes another string from that string. So, um, we're gonna go function, let's call it trim. Is it trim? Um, Clean str, str, dirt. <laughs> so we just wanted to drop all of this uh, certain types of strings. We want to just remove them from a string. We want to clean them out. Um, and so what I want to be doing here is uh, vfster equals uh, cleanster uh, vfster. And like this. Is it? Is it? Because it's a line line break character, like right? No, it's it's a back. It's this this n. That's a new line character. So if you can, you want to trim this out of the string, and then you also want to trim out all the spaces. And I think if we can pull this off, then then we're gonna be peachy. Um, so with this one, we're gonna go for uh, i equals one two. Um, see, that's a bit of a problem right now because no, it's fine. Um, hmm. is it fine though? It's one of those things, man. It's one of those things. Um, no, no, it's good, it's good. We're gonna go um, hashtag. No, 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 we're gonna do it like this. Um, a rib. I'm gonna go i equals one repeat until i is greater than length of length of str. Do uh, how, how, how does repeat the repeat thing? Uh, repeat. Lua? That's such a good song. That's such a good song. Final Fantasy had such good music. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> and in here we're gonna go i plus equals one. So we're gonna go if sub. How does the sub thing work? Uh, it's always it's always so difficult. I I, I I don't know how we handle this. Where's the sub? There we go. String str start i and uh, i plus uh, length of dirt minus one. And if that's equals dirt, then
um, in this case, i uh, plus plus equals um, hashtag dirt minus one. Else, no, oh, actually, hashtag, hashtag dirt is enough. Uh, else. Um, and then we're going to have the return value of local red equals empty string. Um, equals red. Oh, oh, oh. Red dot dot. Something like this. Okay, I, I, I kind of want to I want to test this function. I'm gonna save this. Print cleanster. Um, Abba. Oh, we didn't return the return value. Okay, that worked. Uh, what if we go BB? That worked. What if we go for this? Okay. Uh, what if we go this? Uh, wait, it's the other way around. Can we, can we, yeah. This is it. Okay. I think this works. Hey, hey oh, I haven't watched on uh, the, the chat. Uh, Herr Gilbert Bretzky. Squidlight! Squidlight made it! You say I don't need to remove the N, but it didn't work. It didn't work when I tried. I also th would think that I wouldn't have be able to, uh, wouldn't have to be removed uh, uh, that, that one, but I apparently I have to. Um. Yeah, I can I can feel the tiredness. I can feel the tiredness. Uh, yes, please, yes, load. Um here yeah, we are return red. Um okay, so let's let's run this. Okay, it works. Now I want to start messing around with the actual code. So I'm gonna add a space for example. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna run. Uh, I'm gonna run. Okay, that worked, no no mistakes. Now I'm gonna do a line break. Save run, uh, save run, I uh, see. Ah, yeah, yeah, it doesn't allow me to do this. Ah, oh, that sucks. It doesn't allow me to do this. You cannot do a line break while you're declaring a string. Ugh. I hate this. I hate this. All of this force for naught. Yeah, 
Yeah, it just gives me a syntax error. It doesn't even parse the string. That's the problem. It's, it, it's not up to that the string is wrong. The string is okay, but I, I guess it's wrong. But uh, it doesn't even parse the code. It, um, it, so it doesn't actually like the, the string doesn't even get anything in there. Bad. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. There. It doesn't it doesn't really change anything. Oh, that's such a good song. Final Fantasy IX, right? Okay. Um, hmm, that might be a good idea. Just not enc encoding them into into a string. Yeah, no, it makes no difference of if it's char thirteen or not. It's just the problem is not that there is um, characters in a string that we cannot deal with. It's the, the the problem is that if you do a line break while defining a string, that 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 thing doesn't execute. Oh, you don't see that um, here. If you do a line break here, that doesn't execute already, uh, and it's not like like that, that you get garbled up string that you have to. That cannot be uh, split or anything. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe. But I, oh man, I don't want to ex change the export function. Should I change export function? Uh, it seems such a. Oh, maybe we should. Maybe we should. Um, I'm gonna keep the old uh, one around. Um Oh man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's old. I want to uh, edit a new one. Um so it's like this, right? And the separator between is going to be like this. And then at the end, we're going to add this. This should be enough. Well, it's, I guess it wasn't that big of a deal after all. OK, so let's try this. OK, uh, let's see how it looks. Uh, that doesn't look good. Fudge. I should have made a big backup. <laughs> oh no. Can I undo? Oh, that's that I I've, I've made a huge mistake. Okay, let's let's save this at least. I, I thought I could somehow undo this. I've made a huge mistake. Okay, um Yeah, I, I guess this is the right. Oh man. Uh, oh man, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. This is not good. I guess the idea is you could do something like this. Um, and then we're going to replace all of these. Um, uh, I find this and okay, uh, find this and do we? Oh, yeah, they will go replace with pipe. I should have made a backup and I didn't.
It's working. Uh, yeah, now that now this looks good, so now we can. Um, mm, 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 we don't need the. And you true, the line was merged across the middle uh, of the screen. Are you only storing half of the lines? Yes. Oh, there's, I need to do commas in between. Okay, got it. Ah, this is so awkward. Yep, yep, the commas, yeah, I got it. Where's export? Oh man, yeah, there it is. The problem is uh, it has to be like, kind of like, oh man, ugh, I hate this. Um, What are the square brackets doing? I don't, know, I don't understand. What is how how do the square brackets doing? Can you explain what the square brackets are doing? The first time seeing the multi line the the square brackets thing. So you can just replace opening with uh, parentheses with uh, square brackets and ending with square brackets. It removes my line, break, line breaks. The multi-line contents in Lua lets you input characters and ignore escape codes. This also lets you use slash slash n without any problems. Oh, is that how it works? Let me need to check. Test equals. So this, and hello, this is dog, yes, this is a new line, oh my god, guard, like this, and then print test, is that how it works? Ah, good to know! I did not. I did not know about this. If I had known about this, this I could have saved <laughs> a bunch of. How much, how much time did I spend on this? Twenty minutes. <laughs> well, good. Good to know for future. Good to know. Uh, I 
Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> that's, that's very useful to know. Well, regardless, we arrived at the same result. No, I don't want to go to shapes. I want to go to Vic. Now we can split things up, right? Now we can do like, okay, we know that this is going to be the... Right? This is gonna be... sure that um, oh, I'm gonna save this for later um, I actually wanted to maybe change it from um, six to minus one the minus one being kind of like a special color that does the shading that um, that we are so fond of but maybe not let's not change it just yet let's just like change it to something that we're not, not using something like 14 and then we're gonna later on exchange it like the, the dark green let's go three yeah dark green this seems like a cool color to use for the hair shading uh let's run this yeah okay good all right so now i have the i have the girl line art split already and i think this is the the shirt so we can just plop it right in here Here we have to add a color, and this time we do have a color. It's going to be, it's going to be this color. Nice Final Fantasy VI, right? Uh, if the first character uh, is an uh, enter, it ignores it. But yeah, super. But but yeah, they're super nice. There's also the blah, 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 comments, but I don't think people use them or something. I don't know. It's been a while. Whoa, that looks like a, an emoji. <laughs> Yeah, in hindsight, yeah, yeah, there's also this thing, right? There's also the multi-line comment, right? Uh, that I've been actually using all this time, uh, which is like this, right? No, no, that, that wasn't like this. Oh, 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 what, oh man, I, I forgot. What's the multi-line comment? Is, is, is this like slash or something, right? Is, nope. What's the multi-line comment? How does that work again? See, sometimes I'm just... Yeah, it should be, it should be square. <laughs> But it doesn't work. Ah, you have to close it again. Okay. Okay, so let's save this and see how this looks. Ooh, look at this funky, funky thing. I think we need to remove the last line. Higher here. For, so, for some reason, I screwed up the, um, the final. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Almost, it's minus 10 is, is the correct number. Mm, 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 mm. 
Why does it always flatten the includes? That seems like a... Oh, Balam Garden. Yes! Oh. Final Fantasy VIII. Best Final Fantasy. Don't even add me. Don't even add me. Eight all the way. If only, if only for the um, uh, for the triple triad. Wait, should I maybe? No, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a shirt. It's a shirt. Yeah, it's a, it's a good. It's good. Okay, so that's a shirt. Um, let me let me look at my diagram. Okay, next comes just the neck. It's confusing remembering Lua and Pico H Duel separately. I haven't played Final Fantasy, so I'll take your word for it. You should! I'm the expert here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you do all skin in one pass? No. Um, I, I cannot. I literally cannot. So this is gonna be another. Uh, so this is gonna be skin uh, um, to get the V-neck going. Yep, that's Balam Guard. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII has the most, um, especially Balam Garden has the most. Uh, Star Trek Next Generation vibes, like, I feel Balam Garden feels like Enterprise, but with more floral patterns. <laughs> like Enterprise D, specifically. And for that alone, it's worth it. Well, I also said, also for the Triple Triad. Triple Triad is so good. I, I, should, I should make a Triple Triad in Pico 8 one, one day. Just, just for, 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 for fun. For the lulls! Not bad. I, I'm wondering why. What? I thought I thought I, I, I copied. Oh, I, I what? Let's let's try it again. who are wrong. Uh, seven, yeah. I like how I created this, this tool and I end up just clicking on things. <laughs> then why did I do the tool? Then why did I need the tool? Ah! I'm, I'm, I'm not clicking on things I wanted to say. Um, okay. Um, and then I guess we have to go higher. So we're gonna go uh, minus eight seven, and we're gonna go uh, to I uh, minus eight zero. Let's go all the way, baby, all the way. Yeah. See, that's good. That's what I wanted. Now we need to fix the the front. <laughs> Bye -bye. 
like this. What? That's not what I wanted. Let's undo this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to do this. What? Save. Run. Okay. See? That's what I wanted. Maybe two is it too extreme. Everything is minus. I should have reversed. I'm kind of like wasting some precious resources here. Like this. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Maybe she, it should be a bit further down. Nah, it's good, it's good. The pixel on the left side is slightly offset from the ones on the right side, like they got chunky. Is this just because of the offset, like in half? Um, yeah, there's some 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 minor differences, but um, that's because of how we're, we're using set pixel rendering and um, yeah, that, it's just not so precise. Okay, so that's good. Now I want to add... So this was good, now I want to add the shadow under the chin. I think this is the chin, right? Yeah, because at the end it goes to zero. So this is, should be the chin. So we have to figure out how much of the chin we need and then we can move it like one couple of pixels down. That's just my strat. That's my pro strat right there. Color. Let's do something really crazy so we see the difference and then later on we can change it to something less crazy. Um, comma, 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 comma. Okay, yeah, this is the chin. Uh, we probably can leave out the first line. That's a bit too much chin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, what, what happened there? Oh, zero is wrong. I think I, I, I did too much. Yeah, I, I did too much. Uh, so yeah, get it get it up to eight sounds, sounds, sounds fine. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, actually I can probably get away with with like six, uh, no, 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 uh, uh, 12. No, 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 oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's good. Um, I kind of like, I wonder if what happens if we remove this. Save this. I want to run. No, that's not good. Okay, so uh, let's save this. Let's run. Uh, let's run. Okay, so let's now move everything down by. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, like one, two, three, four, five pixels. Five pixels down. Um, so it's like plus five, plus five. Let's just add it everywhere.
Victor, Victor. Okay. Okay, maybe a bit too much though. So 12. I didn't calculate this. Thirteen, thirteen. That's okay. Now we're a bit too wide at the beginning, so we are going to go minus eight. Six is cool. All right, let's let's keep it at minus eight, uh, and this has to be a bit higher. So, so we need to go start at eight. Safe. Yes. Ding. I think we can also put this at ten. Oh, a bit too much. Let's go with nine. Nine, not nineteen. <laughs> what? Let's undo. I think we did something wrong. Oh, okay. Twelve, uh, eleven then. Uh, I don't like how that looks. Ooh, very nice, uh, unnice, and symmetrical. So let's let's, let's, let's try this. Ooh, this is this is all sorts of wrong. So maybe ten after all, huh? Ugh, ugh. Bottom two lines move up, not just the second to last line. What do you mean? Yeah, but that definitely that, that looks all sorts of wrong. Let's just undo and reset to 12 again and save and run. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, that's all, it was an asymmetrical from the beginning. This I'm 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 not sure if I'm interested in that. Changes nothing. I saved. Yeah. Changes nothing. Um, I don't think you I, you you weren't there when I was creating this. This is um, uh, on the last line. Um, it's actually kind of funny that it doesn't change. Oh, it does make sense that it changes nothing. So these are lines um, x y one, x y two, and they're drawing lines, but they are the edges. And uh, so they not they you're not just drawing. We drawing the edges of the line, and from the edges we're always drawing line inwards. Um, so changing this to thirteen to five, uh, basically there was there's a horizontal line that was moved upwards, uh, but that didn't like. Because there was an uh, intersection, it didn't actually change anything. Uh, technically, we probably could remove this last line, huh? Uh, yeah, almost. Um, Let's just undo then, undo, severely undo until we are where we're supposed to be. Uh, squid light, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, you, you're, you're confusing me. Um, what note, what note, what, you, what note are you talking about? Okay, 
we're back here. Um, so we set plus five, right? maybe a bit too too high so let's get go down to 9 12 12 13 13 13 okay that's good you know what let's just leave it at this I do want to move it do I have to yeah I have to uh, I have to move this to Ah, see, that, that's what's, what messes this up a little bit. All right, but I have to keep it at eight. Can I, can I bring this to like minus five to make it look better? Yeah, 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 yeah that's good, that's good. Uh, I just want to bring this up, uh, so eight. Hey, Weeble, Weeble. What if we make, um, uh, we turn this into 13? Mm, janky. Well, oh, where? Well, yeah, okay, sure. Let's save this. Nah. Um, what, maybe two? Yeah, that's better, that's slightly better. Let's, let's set it to 14, is that better? Doesn't change much, but okay. Uh, let's go find 5.5. Just like really just tweaking details here. What about 4.5? Ooh, that's even worse. It's okay. Let's just leave it at, at this. It's probably going to be looking weird anyway because it's, it's just shady. Um, maybe something that might help here is... Yeah, um, so how about we move this to nine? 
Ah, I see the problem. Okay, uh, let's not move it to nine. Let's move it, bring it back to eight. Um, and this will be like six, nine. Kind of what we need, and then we're just going to create a new one, new uh, uh, new illustration so from six nine. Then we go to um, mm, 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 well six nine. Definitely too late for to be doing this kind of thinking. Oh man, um, four galaxy brain. <laughs> Let's try that. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. sense. Uh, 10. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's way better. Yeah, that's more what we're looking for. Let's go 11. Oh, that's not good. 10. Well, actually, the last end doesn't doesn't do anything, so we have to go to to eleven, right? Yeah, yeah, that's so that's good. if we leave this out let's just build it one by one i am just a bit confused let me i have to like figure this out myself okay wow this doesn't do anything are you sure okay let's do another one then okay then then you get something okay good um we move everything down by one Okay. Um, this could be actually. This could be this shading actually. Let's run this. It's a bit too much, so let's bring it up again. Eight, ten, ten, eleven, like this. Uh, might what if we keep the 10 here the wow that changes nothing really that's so odd can you show me something oh interesting oh Oh, I, I, ah, maybe because it's kind of like, well, that makes sense. We just have like, at the end, we have like a, let's, let's do it like a zero, zero at, at the end. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I've been, I've been like fine tuning something that, that, ah, that, it's a um, back from my editor. Okay, so this is actually cool for later. Um, but this guy is going to be just staying just one entry here and this is going to be three uh, and this is going to be coming first 
Okay, got it, got it. See, see, this is this is looking increasingly increasingly good. Um, then let's let's go nine, eleven, eleven, twelve. Save, run. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Now let's get rid of the of the P set. A little bit the shading is not quite right on on this one uh, let's go nine and uh, wait let's go seven wow really let's go six yeah mm. let's go three four or something so it's to be a bit thinner oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's what, what I'm what I'm looking for Let's go back to seven here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See that that's 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 a ticket, laddie. Let's go uh, up to five. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If that's good. I think it looked better with four. Yeah, that's better. This is what I want. This is what I want. Beam, beam, beep, 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 boom. Okay, what's the master plan? What's the next step? We did the shading on the on the on the chin, on the on the on the, yeah on the chin. Okay, now just just face, and then we're done. That's good. So we can just again take the line art from the girl. That's gonna be this part here. Should be the face. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. We are almost there. And then we're gonna take the last lines from, I don't know how many, that's the problem. Let's take some, let's get, let's take like two. And then we add them on top. And then here we have to do a bit of a crazy thing. We have to reverse those lines. Which again, is a bit, Just a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. So first we're gonna reverse them like this. And then we're gonna reverse them like this. Oops. What, what, what just happened? Okay, first like this. And then uh, like, like this. Truth, I have an evening from hell, so it's nice to un unwise with a chill coding stream. Yeah, 
Yeah. What what happened in your evening? What why is it from hell? Okay, okay. I, I might be actually inclined to leave it like this. But no, let's be thorough. Let's be thorough. So we want to end at this position. So that's the position we want to be ending at, that's good. And that's the position we want to be starting at. Well, maybe not quite at this position, maybe at um, minus 11. And then from this position, oh, oh, why, why is it chugging? What happened? Uh oh, oh, my mouse is, is cutting out again. Oh no, it's those problems again. Because now I my mouse attached to the to the screen again, and I think it's 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 too far. It's too far for this mouse. It's made for notebooks. Um, I'm gonna have to get a cable mouse or something. I don't know. I'm gonna get it from this to. No, actually, we don't don't need the, that. It's, it's fine to be like this, right? It's just gonna be looking fine. Eh, hey, no problem. Okay, welcome to my. Oh wait, the ears are not quite right. We forgot the ears. Forgot the ears. The ears so easily forgotten. The, the humble ears, so easily forgotten. Um, wait, where are we? Oh gosh, what, what did I even copy? I think these are the ears. These are the ears. Victor, Victor. I want to actually try to do the shading now. Oh, for this, I, <laughs> I always forget how PAL T works. I have to look it up every single time. I just, just like, it just can't go into my mind. Uh, Walt, yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly what I wanted. Walt. Uh, do we have, like, do we have some, oh, man. It, it, what is this? What is this? This is such a poor website. We should maybe edit this. No, I don't want to have Pelty. Um, I, what's the... Not Pelty. Um, the pattern fill. Uh, P-fill, right? What, 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 fill P? See, I even forget the name of the... Ugh. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, that's, so that's the checkerboard pattern. That's good. That's a good, good copy. So the idea uh, that I have here right now, and let's just paste it in here real quick. So I don't uh, get it right off the... So the, the idea is here is that the three will turn to either minus one. And 
in here as well. And then, uh... oh, does the fill P apply to? That applies to lines as well, right? It does apply to lines, right? Please say yes. Or is it just fill pattern? No, it should be applied to lines, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, so the idea here is if we... Like this. If C equals <laughs> It's too late guys, it's too late. I I'm I'm done very soon. I'm done very soon. I just can't. Um something like this, C equals one. Yeah, the heat Yes, the heat vent turned turned on to I think there's a bit to set to fill P2 effect uh, other stuff like SSPR. I guess it just lines the normal though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SPR is, 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 a, is a different thing. Good. Uh, uh, I think we need to turn the F, uh, F fill P off at the end. That should co could maybe cost us some. Let's just try. Well, that did nothing. Uh, but that might be because we have um, something like this. Nope. Oh, I didn't save. Lol. Oh, yeah. It's not the checkerboard pattern I wanted. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wait. Time to time to find. There's, there's a... Oh, that might be a good one. Let's try this one. Ooh. Ooh, shift B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I wanted. Yes. Um, but of course, it's not, we don't, oh man. A C is not gonna be one, it's one and seven. How do I do that again? Oh. One plus seven times 16, something like this. What, we, we lost the music, guys, we lost the music. Let, let me get let me get the chocobo and chill again. This was a good um, seven times sixteen, something like this, right? Nope. Ah, yeah, because uh, how do uh, is it like uh, floor? It's a victory dance. Okay, and enough dancing. Um, so I, now I want to export it into the old style. Uh, you know what, this is so useful, I'm just gonna save this. Uh, girl, fill, array. Do, do, do. No, no, we don't need to save this. We don't need to save this. Your persistence pays off. Yes! I know it looks awesome. I like it. I want that I wanna find out if it animates though. That's the, the last thing I'm gonna do today. Um Do the Victor Vector dance. <laughs> I don't know what the Victor Vector dance is. Um but it sounds awesome. Okay. Mm. 
What, you didn't save? What? Oh, that's the wrong. What's this one? Okay, that looks good. And then here we can do like this. Yeah, good. It it works. Good. So let's try to get this integrated into the the. Save this, yeah, 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 sure. Flatter includes uh, load uh, breath. Uh, Man, I have such fond memories of playing uh, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon because I was playing this in the first day when my daughter was born and I, I remember like, like falling asleep with her while playing this game. And also, just check, oh man, it's kind of crazy that this one song, this one character has been following me around since I was a, like a teenager. The first encounter with a chocobo was um, when I was playing Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy Adventure, which in Europe was uh, Mystic Quest on the Game Boy, which is a uh, prequel to The Legend of Mana. Which is, by the way, where the ending sound comes from. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have to play it once on the stream or something, they just do it, relax. And, and, and you will see the, 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 the chime at the end of each of my videos. is a falling asleep sound from that game. Uh, anyway, that also had a chocobo. Um, Wickdorf. I want a VF draw. Oh man, look, see, see how, oh man, oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, we're gonna have to in, in, in integrate the breathing into it. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, I, I promise too much. Perhaps I promise too much. I overdid myself. Um. And my mom has fond memories of playing in. New Super Mario Brothers, and now she tells me that that song reminds her of when I was a baby. Oh my gosh, well, it's six, you are young. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> Super Mario Advance, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Super Mar New Super Mario Brothers was like DS. I guess Super Mario 2 Advance wasn't that much, is, is not that much older. Um. Yeah, I was thinking of the GBA game. She likes the other song too, though. I'm youngish. <laughs> and everybody's always as old, the oldest they have ever been. So, you know, always feel like you're always at very advanced age. Um, okay. After Talabovsky. Okay, and now when we draw, we're gonna first draw the VF draw. 
uh, VF data, and then we're gonna do, do the VDraw. Uh, and that's gonna be it. Really? Oh, it does. It went all wrong. Interesting, huh? Don't worry, Christian, I'm an old for two. Yeah! <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> what happened there? Did you see that? Why, why was, was it all black? That's not what I expected. Manic Miner, oh my gosh. I have to Google this one. What is Manic Miner? It sounds familiar. Oh, dang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ZX Spectrum. <laughs> That's my my jam. Did you get, get a load of this. Get a load of this. Jeezer. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely my generation as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, that animation! That could be Pico H right there. Yeah, oh man. Look at this. Look at this. What is what is this even? What is this guy? Do you see this guy? What what is this? It's like a it's, he he he's, he farts and then he has like a trumpet as a nose. <laughs> and then straight legs. I love it. It's, this is so good. This is literally what games were like. You just had no idea what was happening. But that's good, you have to use your imagination, man. Not like the people today. <laughs> Pac-Man with legs and a cannon head, that's right, Asterix. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, reset the palette? What, what reset the palette? Uh, Did it do any kind of pal statement? No. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I know. I, th I think I know. Um, when I... Uh, um, the line 2 statement, I think. No, it does have a color. Ah. No, I'm using the line statement. Not the line to say, huh? Yeah? This is confusing. Is it maybe an export problem? No. No. We definitely get the data in there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, got it. Whoa! Oh man, this looks so good though. Let's get rid of that last part. I think it's here, it's four, right? And this, this part. Oh, look at her! I kind of like that the hair is not quite touching the shade, the shading. I think that's a cool look. Um, I don't like what is happening to the ears. It just looks broken. How did I solve this problem? In the, no, I just did not solve the problem in the. Maybe I should. Um, lower the shading of the of the um, hair so it doesn't go next to the, to the ears but otherwise man that looks so cool you probably you almost don't need, don't need to scale the, the fills but I will sh scale the fills yeah the, the fill is not scaling at all but it still looks kind of okay ish I feel 
Something is odd. The, sh the shadow underneath the chin doesn't look quite right. I, I didn't look right in the... Oh, it didn't look right here either. Okay, got it. Uh, why though? I want to have the line art. That's okay. I, I don't want to have this guy. I'm gonna just load girl fill array text. And uh, we're not gonna split. This is correct. And now what is happening? What is happening? What if I remove this? And save this. Run this. Okay, nothing happens. That's good. That's good. Good to know. Wait, wait, nothing happens? Oh, is, is it not loading the right thing? Taking crazy pills? Oh yeah, no, okay, it's gone. Okay, good. But now I'm kind of confused why we don't see the shadow here. Husky, no. The husky has. Don't blame the husky man. Husky has its own problems, probably. Like squirrels, I don't know. Some dark problems. Oh man, right, let's let's remove this from the equation for now. Let's just get this out. And kind of like. Yeah, that looks fine. Why am I? Why am I? Am I? Why am I spreading? Oh, I guess the idea is that it's supposed to come first. Ah, uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. This is not just like the problem is with this. Uh, what? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. This is the problem now. make the color uh, red so we see what we're editing we, I'm editing the shadow of the of the throat but yeah yeah okay got it so this has to be nine yeah 
yeah. And then you get these kinds of effects. Ugh. Yeah, that's better, that's better. No, that's okay, that's okay, that looks, that looks fine. Okay. Maybe I should export both versions, so I... Let's just export both. Actually, we don't need to export both versions. We can just export one version. And we're gonna copy this into girl fill. And I'm gonna remove this last bit. Load breath. Yeah, yeah, still don't, don't love the ears. Do not love the ears. Wait, what? The shade shading looks still bad. I didn't export or what? Oh, I didn't export probably. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. I probably should add a menu item just to export manually so I don't have to. Oh, whatever. Uh, load Vic. We should have exported it. Yes. This is the this is the best music from Final Fantasy IX. I am not a big fan of Final Fantasy IX. I don't hate it. That music is really good. Glorious evening. So you see how the shoulders are looking all janky? Yeah. And there's just nothing you can do about it because um, you could do some, we could try to do something about it. Um, shade in different color. Oh my god. Like six, let's try that. Yeah, see, that, that works. That might be even better. Oops, not. Uh, not, not in love with that. What about the blue? This is always such a good color. The 13 color is, is, is the unsung hero of PQA. Yeah, see, that looks better. Except, oh yeah, yeah, sometimes you get, ah, okay, we, we're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it. Yeah, if 13 does such a double duty in so many ways. It's, it's like the uh, 13 is the color that does like, it is an additional gray. It sometimes kind of work as a gray because it's kind of feels like a bluish, like a, a cool gray color. But sometimes it can also add as a purple. Um, it, it's, it's a good color. It's, it's, it's kind of funny, like you, if you keep using the same palette and the palette is so restrictive, you get really familiar with the palette and you get really find, you know, techniques of how to use it for different effects and which colors. Yeah, like you learn about the colors, like individual colors have become such an important thing. It's, it's funny. I wonder what, how things will run with Picotron. Okay, so this is good. Um, the goal for tomorrow, the goal for tomorrow is gonna be to animate the fills because right now they're kind of look a little bit janky. Uh, so I want to animate the fills and um, and then we can get, try to get that girl over into our main program 
and uh, yeah, and then and that's that's gonna be looking awesome. I'm like, kind of looking forward to that part. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me on this uh, late uh, evening stream. I'm all tired. I'm gonna just plop down on a couch or maybe just go direct to my bed and just sleep. Um, see you tomorrow. We are going to be start streaming. Uh, see, I don't know exactly where we're going to streaming, but um, we might be actually streaming quite early because the grandparents come early and they pick up the little one and they disappear again for like one or two hours or three maybe. So in the meantime, in that time, I can probably get the stream out. I'm not sure if I'm going to do an evening stream tomorrow. That's something that we have to decide as we go. It kind of would be nice to just have a relaxing evening uh, for once. Although I guess I had a relaxing evening yesterday. I'm gonna, um, it's gonna kind of depend on how I feel tomorrow. I'm gonna just play it by ear. All right, again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye bye. Boop, boop, boop.